this last two exercises in the loops and arrays section. Um, and so in this exercise, we're starting to, um, again, uh, work at this idea of having an array and looping over it, and why would you want to do these things? Um, so we're starting out with, uh, in this case, um, the declaration of two variables. In one case, we have a variable called array, and in the second case, we have a variable called largest. And so remember, those are just placeholders. They can be anything. But we've started out defining array as something that is actually an array. We know that because of the brackets. Um, and it is a series of numbers. And right now, largest is simply defined as a number. Um, the instructions that are the goal here is going to be to find the largest number in the array. And so that's um, you know logically something that we just leap to right away, no problem at all. Um, but the secret, and again, this is the difference between when you're trying to think through computation and when you're just sort of having natural human thought, uh, you have to become very, very explicit. So you have to understand exactly what you're telling yourself. What is your brain doing without you even necessarily being conscious of? And you're basically doing an evaluation and a comparison of all of these numbers. And so you need to tell the computer to do that as well. And this is a great thing to use the for loop um, for. And so in the instructions then it says write a for loop that finds the largest element and then log that largest element into the console. So how do we do it? Um, it suggests that we start on line four and that we're going to declare a for loop with an if statement inside of it. So that's a big hint for us. Um, that if statement is going to be used to compare the largest element of the array to the variable largest. Um, if this element is bigger than largest, make largest equal to the element. The loop will then start again. You will then compare the second element on the array to largest, and so on. Now, I think one of the reasons this gets confusing is simply because we're working with numbers. And so you're working really here with two sets of numbers. In the one case, you have 36256, blah, blah, blah. That's one set of numbers. There's another set of numbers underneath, and those numbers run 0, 1, 2, three, four, five, six, seven. So if we wanted, for instance, to compare or to run the entire length of this, we would know we would need seven spots, and those spots would be indexed with the numbers zero through six, and then we've got the value of each of those numbers as well. But of course, the point being is we could type as many numbers as we'd want in here, and we'd still be able to determine what the largest one was, right? So. Um, it's that idea of always working towards a flexibility, and that's why you want to be explicit and general. Okay, I hope that helps kind of clarify things a little bit. But okay, so what's the code we're going to be running here? So we want to create a, um, a loop, and, and we want it to be a for loop. So we're going to start with that, and we know our for loop um, has a set of conditions in it, and we have those conditions that have something to do with the index of this array in this case, right? And so we want to start that index at zero. Um, and then we want uh, the um, comparison, right? We want the comparison to be running going through each one of these things. So we know that it has to do with the length of what the array is, right? So what we want is for the comparison we're going to be writing um, to function on each index slot in this array. So if we're going to start out with the index slot at zero, we want it to keep going through the full length. And so that's when um, if i is less than less than uh, array array dot length, right? That's the condition we want. Oops, and I just realized I had a comma there, and it should be a semicolon. There we go. Um, so start with i at zero, and then if i is less than array.length, we want it to run the block of code, and uh, we want to iterate with i++++. plus 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 plus. There we go. Um, so that is our full sort of for looping statement. Now what we need to do is define the code inside the code block, right? And what we're going to be doing with that is comparing the first element of the array to largest, and if this element is bigger, um, then largest is make largest equal to the element. So this is where we're going to insert an if statement. So remember now, the if statement 
starts out with if, and then it has its own conditional. And so in that conditional, that's when we get to do the compare. So now we're leaping back to last week's exercises, right? So um, if something, right, is bigger than largest, right? So we're going to compare largest. And if the element is bigger than largest, so we know we're going to want bigger, bigger than largest, Right? If something is bigger than largest. So what is the thing that we're going to be looking for? What do you think it is? Perhaps we want something like if array at i is bigger than largest, yeah? Um, then we want something to happen. And remember, um, in if statements, the then goes in a block of code as well. So if array at i is bigger than largest, what we want is array, sorry, we want largest, the variable largest, to equal array at i. There we go. Right? So if so what we're saying is if array at i is greater than largest, then execute this block of code, which redefines the variable largest to be, instead of zero, it redefines it at the number array at i. Okay? Um, and then we need a semicolon right there. Okay, I think that might do it. We might have it there. Let's see what we end up with. 89, we got it right. Okay. So that is the way that exercise works. I hope that made sense.